My husband and I got married when we were 30 years old and we wanted to try for a family as, as soon as possible. After a couple of years of just trying on our own and going to our OB, we decided that we needed some help. It's a very frustrating experience to know what you want and not being able to do it where you see other people, your friends, uh, your other family members being able to, to have a child and then you can't have that. You look to your spouse and you just you, you cling for support because you feel like you're the only ones that's dealing with this issue and it can be embarrassing and, and it's something that you just thought it would come natural and it, it doesn't and it didn't for us. Being the husband in this situation is a lot different, I think, than Stacy's experience because you, you just you feel bad for her. Uh, and she, I think she took it a lot harder than I did. We started the IVF journey back in 2012. So Dr. Kaufman and his team came up with a plan for us to go through 10 weeks of, of shots and to prepare my body for what they call retrieval, egg retrieval. So it's shots and medications and blood work, and then we implanted day five, and then it's the waiting game. And that was the longest two weeks of my entire life. The office called, the nurses were on the phone, the doctor was on the phone, and they're like, you're pregnant, congratulations. And it was just a moment of relief and joy and all that hard work the dedication that we had put in as a family and Dr. Kaufman's team, it, it paid off. To finally have that feeling to know that our son was on the way is just something that you cannot even explain in words. We had a healthy five pound, 10 ounce baby boy named Bryce. He has just been the best thing to come into our lives.